Hey guys, and welcome back to another machine learning tutorial. So in today's video, we are moving out of KNN. We're done with that now, and we're going to be going into something called SVM. Uh, I just realized I put SMV in my working file. Anyways, SVM, which stands for Support Vector Machine. Um, and I'm not really going to talk about exactly what it is in this video, but I, we are just going to be importing our data again, uh, getting everything in. We're just going to use sklearn, some built-in data sets, because that's the easiest way to do it. And essentially, the reason I haven't used these data sets, which you'll see are like really easy to use um, in the earlier videos, is because I want you guys to learn how to properly bring in your own data. Because realistically, if you're doing this for any applications outside of just kind of playing around with it, you're probably going to use data that is not like formatted properly or is missing things or needs uh, like titles or needs to be transformed into numeric data. So I wanted to show you guys that in the earlier videos. Also quickly, just want to say thank you to everyone for all the amazing feedback I've been getting. Um, I'm trying to make this tutorial uh, good enough that kind of everyone can follow along depending on your skill level in python like if you're a beginner or not but i will say now uh, this is where things are going to start getting a bit more difficult in terms of understanding the mathematics are getting a bit more complex uh, and as we move into neural networks that is going to be getting even more complex so i'm going to continue to try to explain it as best as i can um, but just a warning that i will be using or i will be assuming that you have some kind of math background um, probably like finishing high school math just because i can't really explain like super fundamental math concepts uh, in these videos Anyways, uh, before I keep going, because this will be a shorter video in terms of importing the data, I want to show you or just tell you guys what the series is going to look like in the future, because I know some of you have been asking, like, what's next? So essentially, what I'm planning to do is SVM. That'll be probably another two or three videos, depending on how long it takes me to explain it. And then after that, we're going to be getting into neural networks. Now, I know all you guys are really excited about neural networks. Uh, and essentially, what I'm going to do is probably do like two or three projects with neural networks. So the first one I'm going to do with neural networks is going to be if you saw my uh, tutorial video or not really tutorial is a kind of like a showcase of how I had those handwritten digits and we are classifying them based on what I would bring in. I'll leave a card to that in the corner here if you want to have a look at that. But essentially, I'm going to be teaching how we can do that. And then we'll move into some more advanced things with neural networks. And hopefully at the end of this uh, series, I'm going to make a new series and train like a uh, like a neural network to play a game or do something like that. So let me know if you guys are excited about that. Um, last notes, sorry, I know this has been a very long kind of introduction, but this is important. Uh, if you guys want to join my Discord server, uh, there's a link below. My Twitter is there as well. That's a really great, great place for you guys to uh, connect with me, ask some questions, and just join a community. We already have a ton of people on there, and it's been awesome to uh, kind of see the chats going on in the Discord server. So I welcome you guys to join. So anyways, let's get into the actual tutorial. We're just going to load in data. This shit won't take us long. So we're just going to import sklearn. Uh, from sklearn, this is new. We're going to import data sets. Now, essentially, data sets is just uh, holds like a ton of different data sets that are really easy to load in. You'll see in a second. We're also just going to, uh, from sklearn, we're going to import uh, svm. And svm is going to be our classifier. So that's what we're going to be using. Uh, okay, so now that we've done that, what we need to do is load in our data set. So the data set I'm going to be using is a cancer data set, um, and that is a breast cancer one, I believe. And essentially, there's just a bunch of different features, and those point to a tumor that is either cancerous or non-cancerous. Uh, correct me if I'm saying this incorrectly, but uh, malignant or benign, I believe is how you say that. So to load in our data, really easy. All we have to do is just do cancer equals data sets dot load breast cancer. Now, just look here at this all these autocorrects. All you have to do to change the data set we're using uh, is pick one of these other ones. So iris is a popular one for SVM. Uh, breast cancer is a popular one as well. Um, there's some other ones as well that you can pick from, but I don't guarantee they're going to work because it has to be a classification data set um, because that's what SVM is used for, classifying, um, what do you call it? Just like points, right? Classifying data to be a certain class. So now that we do that, uh, we're going to actually just print out our features and our labels just so we know the names of them. So essentially to do this, all we do is we just print cancer uh, dot label underscore names. Believe that's right. We'll see. And then we're going to do cancer dot target underscore names. Uh, I don't even know if these brackets need to be here, but I guess we will see. Yeah, label names is apparently not a thing. So one second. Sorry. Let me just have a look at my other file. Ah label names feature names my bad and i don't think we actually yeah we don't need these brackets here as well i don't think they'll make a difference but let's do this 
Okay, so you can see here we have all our features now, mean radius, mean texture, mean perimeter, uh, and then malignant and benign. Again, don't really know how you say that properly, but uh, anyways. Uh, and so this is the same thing. Whenever you load in like another data set and you call it something else to see all the different features, you do that. To see all the different labels or targets, you do this, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my X and Y list here uh, for data. So X is going to be very simple. It's just cancer.data, and Y is going to be cancer.target. Uh, so pretty straightforward there. And then to split up our data, we're gonna use that split test train or train test split or whatever it is. I'm gonna copy it in because I really don't wanna mess up typing and then have to correct myself. Uh, but it's something like this, right? So we have our X train, X test, Y train, Y test. And then we're using sklearn.model selection.train test split. I know, what a mouthful. And then we will put instead of cancer.data and cancer.target, which will work, we'll just put uh, X and Y here. And notice I just increased this size to 20% uh, for a test size. Doesn't really matter. I just wanted some more data to test with. But again, you guys can play around with this number. Uh, I wouldn't really go any higher than 30% though. Okay, so now we've got our data. Let's have a look at it, make sure everything looks fine. So let's just print uh, X underscore train. And let's just do Y underscore train as well, just to see what these look like. Okay, so we've printed them out now and we can see we've got a bunch of like crazy decimal numbers, right? And then our, uh, what do you call it here? Our labels or our targets are all going to be one or zero, where zero represents uh, malignant or benign and one represents, uh, or what am I saying? Zero represents malignant, one represents benign. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to copy this list here because I'm going to use this later. And what I'm going to just do is do classes like this is equal to, and I'm just going to copy this in here. So that when we get those zeros and ones later, and we want to print, we want to print out the actual answer. We can just index them in this list. Uh, so I know this video has been short, and it's been a lot more just kind of about the series than actually loading in data. But this is all I'm doing for right now. The next video will be going over how SVMs work. Um, that's going to be a pretty detailed explanation, and then we're going to get into obviously implementing the algorithm, doing some stuff with that, and then moving into neural networks. If you guys are excited for the rest of the videos, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you again in the other ones. Oh, 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 oh,